When life gives you lemon, you make lemonade out of it. And when it gives you a function, you have fun with function. Wait a sec, what? How can I have fun with function? And function of math? And math is boring. Well, do you like building structures with Lego? Yes. What if I say having fun with function is very similar or even better? Let me tell you in details about the game fun with function. Legos are of different shapes and sizes which you usually buy at Lego store. Similarly, function do come in different shapes and sizes which you can get at free of cost at function store, often known as math book. Then you need your Lego mat where you start building your Lego structures. Similarly, here you need your graph paper or in modern era online graphical calculator. It is again free of cost. And finally in your classical Lego you make your beautiful Lego structures. For us, the game begins now. Get ready and let's play fun with function. First thing first. Let's buy a functional Lego from our function store, aka MathBook. Hmm, I like this beautiful looking Usept function Lego. Let's buy it. The important point to remember, this is how functional Lego looks like from outside. But from inside, it is just bunch of X equals to Y. Or you can also say, it will have one side dedicated to X and another to Y. Do not get scared with it. You don't need to remember these X and Y. They come along when you buy a function from MathBook. Rule number one. You can move this function down or up just by adding or subtracting a number C to Y. Adding will move entire function downwards, whereas subtraction will move it upward. As simple as it is. Do you want to see this rule in action? Let's get our functional Lego mat, aka graphical calculator. There is one known as Desmos, freely available in internet. I like using it, but feel free to use any of your favorite. On the left hand side, I will input my function in terms of X and Y. And then, eh, voila, this is our U-saved function. Let's adjust our graph a bit here. Uh, let's get rid of this background grid. I like neat and clean background. Hmm, looks nice. So, according to rule number one, if I add any constant, let's say one with y, the function Lego should move one step downward. And it does. Similarly, if I add four, there you go. Let's subtract some constant. For example, 4. And according to rule, it should move up. And indeed, it moves 4 steps up. Let's make it more fun. You can add or subtract continuously one after another number and make a movie out of it. I will show you what I meant. Let's add a constant C to Y. And this constant C is not just one number but it is a range of numbers from minus 10 to plus 10. You can set this range as you wish. Now as per the rule, the function should go 10 steps down and 10 steps up. Hey, click! By now you might have guessed rule number 2. What if I add or subtract a number to x instead of y? What will this action do to my function? Let's check it directly into our graphical calculator. I will move this plus c towards x. As before, the range of c is from minus 10 to plus 10. And now I will run a movie. Yay! The function moves left and right. Before talking about new rule, I get bored with our useft function. Let's buy a new function from our function store. Let's take this nice looking wiggly function known as trigonometric. And from inside, it looks like y equals to x with sign in front of it. Hmm. We are not afraid of this inner escalator function. We do not need to remember them, we just need to use them. 
let's get back to our game. Now rule number 3. What if I multiply y with a constant c? Let's put it into action in our graphical calculator. First, let's change our function from usept back to wiggly1. Hmm, nice looking wiggly function. Let's multiply y with some constant and let's see the effect in the form of movie. 1, 2, 3, go! It stretch and squeeze the function, meaning I can make my function tall and small just by multiplying y with some constant. I know what you are thinking now, multiplying a constant to x instead of y. Well, that is rule number 4. Let's see it directly into an action. Whoop! It stretch and squish my function in horizontal direction. Meaning, if I want my function to be fat or skinny, I know how to do it now. Let's put all our rules into action. Up and down, left and right, tall and small, fat and skinny by making a smiley mask in our graphical calculator. I think it is nice to sit back and enjoy the animation, with no tricks involved, only using the rules I mentioned before. Don't you think it would be nice to put colors on our functional structures? Let's take our old frame, y equals to x square. By now you should know how it would look like, the u safety structure. Now what if I change this equal to sign by greater than or less than? Yes, it will settle one region or another. Let's see this magic in our graphical calculator. Our old friend use function. I will change the equal to shine now. And here you go. First one side, then another. Let's take out another cute function. Hmm, a straight line please. And let's do the same. With graphical calculator, we can also change the color of shadow as per our wish, like this. Let's get back to our smiley mask and use the coloring rule. Now what are you looking at? Give it a try. Get some nice looking function from your math book and have fun with function in the graphical calculator. And show your animation to your friends and family. Please share with me what you managed to make and feel free to ask questions in the comment section if you get stuck while playing the game. Thank you for watching. See you next time.